They're trying to help, use technology to help you probably run your business a lot better, get more money out of the whole, the whole scenario, and that's exactly what I am here to talk about. Uh, so as you know, uh, well, this is the first time I'm using this, so I have no clue how this works, sir. Bear with me. So as you know, the franchise business is actually booming. Uh, this, all of these figures are based on a KPMG report, which is pretty much standard in the franchising industry. So you look at, you, right now there are around 3,000 brands which are essentially into the franchising business. There are 3,000 franchises out there. And the business is supposed to grow at 30% rate year on year. Okay, year on year, it's supposed to go at 30% rate. And now when you're having that high a growth rate, you would have a lot of opportunity for increasing your business. So, I mean, is it just the growth rate in these businesses? If you actually think about it, in India, it's around 1.4% of GDP right now. And in the US, it's around, 50, it's around 10 percent of the GDP. So you have quite a lot of that, quite a lot of space over there to grow. So without any, uh, let's have a look at what are the places where you probably might be growing, right? You, you have pharmacies, which is going to see the highest amount of, or rather big, biggest growth out there, right? And at the same time, you have apparel and all the other retail sectors, which are also going to grow. So you're looking at probably around 10x growth, where you would be having a lot of competitors as well as a lot of franchises in your franchising business. All of them would want to open a franchise store because, I mean, franchising is probably one of the easiest and the best way out there to try out the startup world. It gives you such, I mean, it gives you such a beautiful platform to start up, start a company and become your own boss, uh, going with I run my own business sort of a scenario. But let's look at what else, right? But is that all? The story is not that green. Franchisee also has its own share of problems. What are the problems, right? A franchiser would really not have the birds, are, I mean, you would basically have the bird's eye view. If you're probably having like 20 stores, you have a bird's eye view about your whole business. But do you have the ground level realities a franchisee would know? Would you know that a store in probably one part of Delhi, let's say Gurgaon, is different from another part of Delhi, let's say CP, where I'm staying right now? You would not know. You would not know that these non small, small differences out there, which would impact the kind of customers that are want to walk into your store, and which would impact the sales that you would have on, in the end of the day for your business. So what does, you know, so how do we solve this problem out there? Are these the only problem that's there? If you actually ask a franchisor about, you know, what are the issues that you, you normally have? Again, by the way, these numbers, everything is kind of based on a KPMG report. Please don't hold me responsible for that. It's, uh, a lot of people say location is one of the major issues. So if you want to open a new franchisee, where do you open it? At this point of time, it's uh, right now out in the blue. Nobody knows. You open it out, like if, if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, right? And, if, and, and there's also a big rate of failure in franchises. You have around 80 to 90% of failure rate in franchises. No, does anybody go back and have a look at why did it fail? Do you do it? I mean, does anybody over here does an analysis why understanding why there's a failure? Probably the kind of investment that you did there, probably in that area, probably, probably not right. Probably the stocking of the products that you had there was not the perfect fit out there for those such customers. Right? And if you actually ask a franchisee, these are the issues that they actually say. They say location, and one more in interesting part that comes out here is regarding marketing. If you actually think about it, you would do a pan-India marketing or a pan-particular area marketing. But would a franchisee be able to control that? Can he straight away say, you know what, these customers are going to come back to me in the next one month. He knows it because it's his business. He runs it. He, he attends that day-to-day -day daily calls and is in, the, is in the store, but a franchisor would not have the view of it. Imagine a situation where a franchisor who probably owns 20 to you know, anything about 100 franchisees has that view. He can, actually go into, he can actually know how many customers would come back. And all of that at a click of a button. Nothing more, nothing less. Because you know, in this age of information, people do not want to go past the three-click. You know, kind of, being, uh, kind of being an ode to the three-click rule, right? Not just that. Would that, be all, would that solve the problems? Imagine a situation where you have the whole map of India. If you are planning to open a franchisee, you click that particular location, and based on your pre-existing information that we have out there, we'll tell you, hey, you know what? This particular, this particular business at this particular point would probably have a catchment area of five, six kilometers. And we'll tell you how many customers are there in this five, six kilometers. And we'll tell you what are the kind of uh, revenues that you might be getting through this, you know, through this venture. And not just that. If you already have a competitive information, competitor information, if you, if, you, if you know how many competitors are there, we can actually tell you what would be the ROI, projected ROI, yes. Is that all? 
let now look at one scenario where, let's say, a, uh, a Mr. X opened a franchise of, of A in a location. Would A kind of provide the support, hand-holding support, for them to grow? grow? It, it should ideally do that. It should ideally say, hey, you know what? On a day-to-day -day basis, they should be getting reports or something of the sort, which basically says, you know what? Uh, the target for tomorrow is going to be this. And this is how we can achieve it. And a person who comes and buys a particular product or looks at a particular product or takes a particular service would be interested in something else as well. So these kind of information rarely gets flown back to the franchise. A franchise does have it, yes. And also they would have it whenever a consultant comes down to their office and gives it to them. But is that the ideal situation? Is that the ideal situation that you would want where the guys at the top know, but the guys at the bottom who are essentially at the you know, ground level Taking, your, taking the hits on a day-to-day -day basis have no clue. I would probably say, once we solve that issue, the relationship will be a lot more sweeter, and there will be a lot more flourishing of franchise businesses all over. Right? Now moving on. So these are the basic things that are essentially out there. And when we did a word cloud, word cloud is nothing but it just kind of you know, looks at what are the major problems that are there in the franchise industry. You look at marketing management challenges, uh, industry support, operations. These are the major issues that are out there. Imagine a scenario where you, the franchisor, would by default know in a store in particular, Palika Bazaar has, has a capacity of selling, let's say, 1,000 dresses tomorrow. You know that by default. And you call the manager up and say, you know what, you can sell 1,000 dresses, so I'm, I'm sending you 1,500 dresses. Use the 500 stock because there's a festival season coming up, and you would have another 500 being sold then. Imagine that scenario, visa vis, a scenario where the franchisor does give you a call. He says you have a target of selling 3,000 dresses tomorrow. That's because, you know what, that's what another store in another scenario is doing. Uh, look, at, look at these two scenarios, kind of compare them. Which one would be more helpful? Which one would be helpful for the franchisee as well as the franchisor? Because the franchisor knows exactly what can happen now. He has control over the business. Right? He knows exactly what's going on. And a franchisee is far more happier because he is being handheld throughout the whole process. He knows that the franchise out there is, is, is there to take care of them. They would help them out. They would, help, they would give them marketing support. They would tell them where to open that store. They would tell them, you know what, what are the, you know, how this business looks tomorrow. And if there's any problem, they would, be, they would be call away. And imagine the same thing again. All of this, all of this information being available even to the franchisee. They would not have to do anything. Just log in into your, into your regular franchise you know, solution or software, access all this information. As the technologies in the panel or, or technologies everywhere, this is what we should be trying to do. This is what we should be trying to help the franchise industry out there. Right? So franchises need marketing support, and franchisers would want to reduce the cost, optimize, reduce, optimize the cost, compare and understand the difference between different franchisees, and attack them, or probably kind of support them accordingly, right? So what, like, so, you know, since the whole product is about technology, as, as, as my previous speaker has already said, the idea is to help you use technology, but at the same time have the minimal amount of organizational transformation that's possible. Because face it, you're a franchise. You have 200 franchises out there. Having all of them go through a technological revolution is going to be intensive financially as well as on time. So the idea is, we take care of all the burden. The technologists do take care of all the burden. You don't have to worry about anything of that sort. Right? Just take our solutions and start using our solutions, incorporating them in, into your business, and you can start accessing or harnessing all the information and all, all the, you know, the goodness that we bring to your business out there. So what do we, uh, what do, we do at Pinsir Analytics? We essentially uh, give you a software it's not really software, it's basically a cloud-based solution. You know, playing a note to my previous speaker where he says cloud is the way to go, not really anything else. So this is like, it's on cloud. We call it Sherlock. We, uh, we like Sherlock Holmes, and that's about it. We call it Sherlock, and uh, you can actually type your question in English. You don't have to know anything. Type your question saying, you know, what, what are the top customers today? Or how many customers come back tomorrow? Anything of that sort. You can actually type in English. Uh, or if the question is a lot more complicated, you can go into advanced search, give us a query, we'll figure it out. Not just that, we'll have predefined uh, pre dashboards out there, which will help you out with any kind of information that you probably want. Uh, I'll just stop it here, because it's not really a platform to promote my product. Uh, if you want to know anything a bit more, if you want to understand how we can help your franchises, or a franchise, or anything of that sort, we, do, uh, we, are, we are available at stall number 33.
please give us a visit. We would love to hear your story. Thank you.